Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we'll be doing my Champions League, Europa League, Conference League predictions for the first leg. So we're going to go ahead and do this, guys. So please remember to like and subscribe, of course. And we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. So let's start with the Champions League first, shall we? So our first game that you got here, it is Copenhagen, Man City. I mean, we already know what team is going to win. It's just about how many is Man City going to score. Because believe it or not, I do think Copenhagen will give a good game here. But ultimately, Man City should win. I think Man City is going to win. I'm going to say a 2, yeah, maybe a 3-1. You know, I'm tempted to go with 3-1. I think I'm going to go with 3-1 win for Man City. Man City should get the job done. And yeah, player of the match. It's kind of difficult to guess the stuff, but I'm going to go with... See, Holland seems like the obvious answer, but I don't think it's going to be Holland. I'm going to go with Doku. I'm going to go with Doku. Where is Doku? Where is Doku not here? Doku, why is he not here, bro? Uh, where is Doku? I want to click Doku. Oh, Doku's here. Why is he not have a face? Anyways, I'll play my booster for that one. Next up is Leipzig versus Real Madrid. This should be a good game. I expect Real Madrid to win. I think it'll be a high-scoring game. I just feel like Leipzig defensively look very shaky. So I'm going to go for a high-scoring game, and I'm going to say Real Madrid wins 3-2 on the road. I think it's going to be a 3-2 win for Real Madrid. I think they'll just get the goals done, and they're just looking so good. And yeah, it's going to be a very interesting game, very back and forth, like a basically a pinball game. And yeah, I think Vinicius Rodrigo will come up clutch. Um, actually, I'm going to put Bellingham as my uh, player of the match. Obviously, he's going to have a he's going to be amazing this game. I'm pretty sure. Why does he not have a face? Okay, next up is PSG Sociedad. This is going to be an interesting one. This is going to be an interesting one, guys. Probably the game I'm looking forward most to this week because other games are like pretty one sided. Let's be real. This, on the other hand, is actually an interesting game. Ooh, um, I think PSG is going to win, but I think it'll be tight. I think I'm going to go with PSG 2, Sociedad 1. Um, I just feel like for me, PSG will have superior finishing, and I just feel like Real Sociedad are just going to miss a lot of chance because Real Sociedad, while they play good football, this team is not very good when it comes to a chance creation. Uh, they're not clinical is the right word, I should say. So, yeah, I think Mbappe... Will be the headlines here. Uh, he's going to obviously be that difference maker. And I think he'll have a breakthrough. He'll have a good game. Next up is Lazio versus Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich should win this one. I mean, Lazio this season are not been great. Although I will say Lazio are a bit better at home compared to away. But needless to say, Bayern should win this one. I'm going to go for Bayern to win this one. I think it's going to be a close game, though. But I think Bayern should edge this one out. I'm going to say Bayern get the job done. I think Harry Kane's going to be the man of the match, in my opinion. And yeah, I think Harry Kane's going to be the man of the match. Let me put Kane down. And yeah, those are my predictions for the Champions League. Let's go ahead and move on to the Europa League, shall we? So Europa League time. Okay, we got Young Boys versus Sporting. Sporting should really win this one. I think Young Boys will give it a good go, but Young Boys should win. I'm going to go with Young Boys to win 2-1 on the road. Uh, Sporting to score first. And it's hard to predict who's going to... It's hard to predict who's going to score the first goal. But I am going to go with Gokores. That Gokores guy has been really good for uh, Sporting. He's been the top scorer this season. Shakhtar Marseille. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Shakhtar. I think they'll get the job done. It's a tight one, though. But I just I just don't trust Marseille. I really don't. I don't trust Marseille. And I'm going to go with Sikon. I'm going to go with Sikon to score the goal for Shakhtar. Galatasaray versus Spar uh, Sparapra. I'm pretty confident. I think Galatasaray will win this one. I'm going to say 3-1 win over Sparapra. I think they'll get the job done. And yeah, I think they're just way better than Spar Prague. Um, obviously, I'm going to go with Icardi to have a breakthrough game. I think Icardi's going to have a good game. Um, he's going to be that difference maker for um, Galatasaray. Why did they not have a face here? Anyways, uh, next time is Feyenoord versus Roma. This will be a very interesting one. Obviously, I'm hoping that Feyenoord can win this time around to cap things different. But this time around, I'm going to say a draw. I just think Roma will get the job done the second leg. And yeah, man, you got to give a shout out to Roma, man. Roma put up a great game against, um, was it intro over the weekend, I think. So yeah, I'll go find a score first of the home team. Um, and yeah, my final goal score, I think I'm going to go with Ueda. Uh, Ueda is my pick. I've been really impressed with him. Next up is ben Braga versus Quarterback. I think Braga should get the job done. Quarterback for me, they're not that great. Um, quarterback is definitely better at home. So I'm going to go with Braga to win this one. And I'm going to go with Braga to win this one convincingly. I'm going to go with the 2-0 win. I'm even tempted to play my booster for this one, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, Braga should win this one. And um, goal scores, I'm going to say Bonza. I thought Bonza was, I thought Bonza should have got more game time for Dior Kong with Afcon, but you know what is it is what is it. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to my booster. I play my booster for this one. I'm most confident with this one. 
Lons versus Freiburg. This is a very, very tight one, guys. That could go either way, 50-50. At this current moment, I'm giving Lons a slight edge, but you can make an argument for Freiburg. Freiburg definitely do have what it takes. So I'm going to go with Lons to win this one 2-1. It's going to be a close game, but I think they'll just about make it through. They'll just about get the win, but man, this is going to be tight. This is going to be very, very tight. And I'm going to Wahi to score the goal. Wahi in the final two matches got Milan versus Rennes. I think Milan should be able to get the job done. I think Milan's going to win 3 1. I just think Milan team is way too stacked for Rennes. Rennes this season don't look that great. And yeah, Milan are just looking comfortable. So I'm going to say Pulisic, my guy, Captain America, to score. Hope we can get on the score sheet. And yeah, Benfica versus Toulouse. I think Benfica should win this one. I think they're going to win three. Do I go with the 2 0 or 1 0? Mm, Benfica don't score a lot of goals, so that's the thing. I'm going to go for a tight 1 0. I'm going to go a tight 1 0 because I feel like Benfica is going to be the better team, but I just feel like Benfica won't be able to finish their chances, even though they should. And so, yeah, the goal score for Benfica. I'm going to go with Rafa Silva. Rafa Silva. All right. Let's move on over to the conference thing, by the way, guys. There will be links in the description below if you guys want to join the join the predictor thing, by the way. So we got Mold versus Legia Warsaw. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this one to be a draw. I'm gonna go say one one draw. I think Legia will get the draw that they need. I'm gonna go Mold to score first since they're at home. Um and first player to score for Mold. Maybe Vest in Berisha, maybe. I don't know, honestly. It's a tough one. I don't even know, honestly. You know, I'm going to go Brescia. I'm going to go Brescia. I think Brescia will get the goal. I'll let me out because Fri friends, Fri this will be a very difficult one to call. I think it's going to be a tight one. I'm going to say this ends in a 2-2 draw. An exciting 2-2 draw. Um, actually, I'm not going for 2-0. I'm going for 2-2. 2-2. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I do think Olympiacos will score first. And I think I'm going to go with Olympiacos. Um, I'm going to go with Al-Kabi. al, -Kabi. al -Kabi. I'm going to go with al -Kabi to score. Union SG versus Frankfurt. This is a tight one, guys. I do think Union SG will win. I'm going to say Union SG wins 2-1 over Frankfurt. I've been really, really impressed with Union SG. This is kind of a bold pick, though, because I'm kind of going against the popular predictions, but I don't care. And I'm going to go with Union SG to win, and I'm going to say my goal scorer is going to be Poratas. I'm going to go with him as my goal scorer. Yeah, I'm just not really convinced with Frankfurt, guys. If you guys check out my Europa League predictions, you'll understand why. The Storm Gods versus Slovenian Bot Sibylle. This is a very interesting one, guys. Very, very tight one. I'm going to say this ends in a 1 1 draw. And I think uh, Slovenian Bot Sibylle will take home the advantage. And I think Storm Gods will get the draw that they want. I mean, not, well, not necessarily want, but yeah. Uh, Slovenian Bot Sibylle, I think, will get the job done. So Slovenian Bot Sibylle, my goal scorer is going to be Rodriguez. Rodriguez, my goal scorer. My Keba Hypo versus Ghent. Uh, this is a very interesting one, guys. I. I think I'm going to go with Mikaiba Haifa to win this one, but I think Ged will get revenge the second leg. So I'm going to say Mikaiba Haifa wins 2-1 here uh, just because they're home, but I do think Ged will get revenge. I think Ged will get revenge. I just have a, I just don't think Ged could get results away, uh, but they'll get revenge, though, in the second leg, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to go with Pirat. He's their best player without a doubt, so I'm going to go with him. Ajax was a photo glam. I'm going to go with Ajax to win this one. I think Ajax will win this one comfortably. And I'm going to say Ajax win 2-0. No. Remember, guys, Bodo Glimp are also coming back from a long, long, uh, because their season hasn't started. They're, they're playing the Atlantic Cup, which is, like, basically friendly. And so, uh, Bodo Glimp are coming to this one. Very, very poor preparation. So, whereas, obviously, Ajax are coming to this one really much sharpness. Real Batista for Dinamo Zagreb. I think this will be a very tight game, guys. I can see this being a high score, given how Real Batista are defensively. So, I'm going to go with Real Batista 3, Dinamo Zagreb 2. But I think Real Batista will get the job done. But, man, Real Betis better win this game. Real Betis better win this game because I'm not confident with this pick whatsoever. And I'm going to go with um, I'm gonna go with Isco. I'm going to go with Isco to open the scoring. And I, I need to play my booster. Uh, the Servet versus the Ludograds, I'm going to go with the 1-0 no win for Servet. 1-0 no win. Um, and I am going to go with Endia. Okay. So, which one do I play my booster for, guys? A tricky, tricky one, but I think I'm going to play my Ix and Bodo Glimt. I think that's going to be my booster. I think I'm going to play my booster for this one, guys. I think I'll play my booster for that one. So, that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this Europa Conference League predictions, guys. Let me know your predictions comes below. Please run a like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.